Hey guys, what's up? I'm Pierre Meunier. Welcome on my YouTube channel. So, as you might know, I do F3K and FPV. Today, we will talk about a brand new model of F3K DLG. It's the Toro. Here we go! Today is a preview. Here it is the kit just assembled out of the box. So this is what you get in the box when you order it. Um, so I just glued the elevator pylon. So I will just go step by step about how is this glider, how it's made, all these things. First of all, this glider is made in Ukraine by Kirill. Uh, this guy progressed a lot lately in building, which is great. The glider kit came really complete, which is great. Um, one thing really particular about this builder, it like to make really high diameter boom, so they are pretty wide. But uh, the good thing it's pretty stiff. So if you are a strong launcher or pretty brutal, uh, it will not break as easy as a thinner boom. So, great point. So, it's full core raw cell, uh, which is great for wings and uh, tails. So, it's good because you can glue everything with CA. Um, it's full carbon too, so great. It came with full uh, metal screw, steel screw, or uh, maybe aluminium, I don't know. I don't know if it's steel or aluminium, sorry. Um, the tails are a tiny bit heavy for now. So I don't know when you will get the kit, but it should be better soon. So I will get lighter tails soon, I think, because these ones are near 10, 10 grams the pair so for a one meter it's really heavy but um, I told him to work on it and he will do it so I hope for something like six and a half or seven grams a pair and it should be perfect so the wing is at the standard weight the fuselage it's at a standard weight the only thing to work a bit is the tail so it will be done, so don't worry when you will buy it, it will be perfect. It's why I review it, it's to test it, improve it with the builder and be and make you get the best glider as possible. So, uh, this glider is with a nose cone, which is great, it's like the standard today, but it's so much better than a simple canopy. So, the opening is on the underside, as you can tell, you put the four servos here, which are not yet here. Um, so, four servos, one S LiPo battery and four channel receiver, or five or six if you have the brand new small receiver from FreeSky. Um, the airfoil is a Synergy 2 airfoil, or close, close to it. Uh, it's a good airfoil, it makes the glider fly really easily and I will tell you if it's right in the next video with this glider, it should be out in one week around this, uh, time for me to build it uh, with the RC gear and to set it, because yeah, I need some time to set it. Uh, quick tip, because I told you already uh, the pylon of the elevator don't came glued, um, how to glue it perfectly to have, uh, so my rudder is not glued because I need to build the thing, but the elevator should be perfectly in line with the wing as you can tell, okay, so one or two degrees is not that dramatic, but perfectly straight is way better. So uh, how to do that? It's simple, you take your table. You put the glider upside down with the wing screwed on the fuse, no rudder, okay, 
no rudder. You screw the elevator on the pylon. You take your measurement for the you have enough space for the rudder. You send a tiny bit the fuselage and the pylon to get um, a bit um, yeah a bit matte su surface. A bit mat yeah for the the CA to get a good adhesive adhesive point and then you are you take something like two Tupperware or two box exactly the same eight around eight to ten centimeters or five centimeters it's about the same just exactly the same eight to have each side at the same eight then you when well, you have your glider like this just make sure it's perfectly square perfectly straight you put it down a bit of glue and it should be perfectly straight it take a minute and it's done so this glider came in the kit with a fuse a cone nose cone the wing the screws the tails like this and a small bag of necessaries so not one step on it <coughs> what's in the bag um, wait for it <coughs> so what's in the bag in this bag is a tpeg I always say that about tpeg it's not beginner friendly um, it's way more difficult to build you need to use epoxy uh, it, you can damage your wing so yeah I, I prefer way a lot standard peg uh, to it's more beginner friendly I think and easier to build and if you break it it's way easier to fix so yeah think about that if any builder there look at this video if you make a kit don't put a tpeg or put it in option but not at first um, a good thing it come with a servo plate and servo tray if you want to call it like this um, which is great um, it come with a nearly pre-do uh, aeron linkage so this is carbon tubes for the aeron linkage and this is uh, little hooks for the servo horns, horns. and uh, yeah it's it will be a really easy build it only the only thing which bother me a bit is this tpeg but otherwise it should be really great um, so yeah it's that's pretty much it uh, I like how it's built it should fly well uh, because a bit of this heavy tails uh, I will need a bit of lead in the nose hopefully I will get lighter tails soon to test it really more lighter and less snacky at launch because I know heavy tails will make it snacky uh, a 1 meter react way more to the weight at the tail than a 1.5 meter DLG so yeah that's pretty much it for this video I hope you liked it so next video will be around in one week about DLG uh, and it will be with this one the flight review and yeah so see you in the next one bye